For more than 33 years now, we have been seeing the universe in a completely new way. Since its launch in 1990, the Hubble Space Telescope has revolutionized the world of astronomy. But over the last 33 years, Hubble has also seen something it wasn't actually designed to see, and it could be groundbreaking. Hubble can do far more than image exotic star systems and colorful nebulae. Hubble has captured an impressive range of entirely new astronomical phenomena. Many of them raise questions that have yet to be answered. No other telescope has brought us as close to the splendor and stunning beauty of the universe as Hubble. The Hubble Space Telescope was named after the famous astronomer Edwin Hubble and was launched into orbit aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery on April 24, 1990. Since the launch of the telescope, the astronomy and space exploration community has grown rapidly worldwide. NASA and other space organizations have suddenly received more support and important research funding since images like these have captivated people all over the world. Hubble was the first telescope of its kind, at an altitude of about 547 kilometers and with an orbital period of only 95 minutes around the Earth. Hubble offers an almost uninterrupted view of the universe. Hubble is equipped with a 2.4 meter diameter primary mirror that allows it to capture light from the most distant and faintest objects in the universe. No other telescope before it has delivered such detailed and colorful images. The universe, previously an anonymous sea of stars and darkness for many, was given faces and names that every child knows today. Hubble has made over 1.3 million observations in his career to date, collecting more than 150 terabytes of data. This data has led to over 15,000 scientific publications, some of which have proven that the universe is expanding at an accelerated rate and that black holes really do exist. But Hubble has also shocked and seen many things over the last 33 years that it was not designed to see. Unique, the Hubble Deep Field. The Hubble Deep Field is probably the most remarkable story of what the project was not designed for. In December 1995, an American researcher named Robert Williams was granted valuable observation time of the telescope for himself and his work. And what did Robert Williams do with his time? He had the telescope pointed at an almost empty area in the sky for days. The astronomical community declared Williams mad and protested. But then everyone was silent because the result of this daring scientific adventure was breathtaking. The image which was only shown to the public in January 1996, showed not just a few, but thousands of galaxies, some of them so far away that their light had traveled billions of years to reach us. This image gave astronomers an unprecedented insight into the early stages of the universe for the first time. These ancient galaxies only became visible because the light from galaxies in the foreground was missing. The long exposure time collected the faintest light signals from the background undisturbed, providing an image that revolutionized science and is still celebrated today. When the brand new James Webb Telescope was launched in 2023, the first image was a new deep field and thus a tribute to Hubble and the courageous astronomer Robert Williams. Two asteroids collide. Even professional astronomers don't see this every day. In 2010, the Hubble Space Telescope observed the collision of two asteroids, which became famous under the event named P2010A2. The extremely rare cosmic event was another event that astronomers would not have imagined when Hubble was launched. The collision occurred in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, a region that is unusually rich in such rocky bodies. Normally, asteroids that are far away from us are far too small to be noticed but Hubble delivered razor-sharp images of P2010A2. The meeting of the two celestial bodies formed a striking X-shaped pattern reminiscent of an exciting comet tail. The pattern was created by the debris and dust ejected into space by the collision. The images showed a long, thin line of material extended from the object's central core, indicating the recent violent collision. A tapestry woven from young stars what we see here is what astronomers call the Tapestry of Blazing Starbirth, and it's undoubtedly one of the most spectacular images ever captured by the Hubble Space Telescope. This stunning image shows a region where new stars are being born like an assembly line. 
the image shows us a vibrant mixture of gas, dust, and young stars shining in a distant galaxy. In this cosmic fabric, processes of star formation could be seen for the first time in all their splendor. Dark clouds of dust, which serve as the birthplaces of new stars, contrast with bright, young stars that have only just begun to radiate their light into the universe. These regions are often surrounded by luminous gas clouds, which are stimulated to glow by the intense radiation of the young stars. Jupiter's Aurora in Brilliant Blue Jupiter's glow at the poles was observed by Hubble in 2016. In impressive images, we witnessed a spectacle that has completely different dimensions on the largest planet in our solar system than it does here. We are also familiar with auroras at the poles, but compared to Jupiter, these phenomena are small and rare here. The blue glow occurs when high-energy particles, which mainly originate from the solar wind, penetrate Jupiter's powerful magnetic field and are directed into the planet's upper atmosphere. There, they encounter hydrogen molecules, which are excited by this collision and emit a bright blue glow. This differs from the terrestrial northern lights, which are predominantly green and sometimes red in color, as the composition of the Earth's atmosphere is different. In these images, the entire planet appears blue because astronomers wanted to use special light filters to accurately depict the height and extent of the auroras. These observations are not only visually impressive, but also provide valuable scientific insights into Jupiter's unique magnetic field. Life on Europa? Here we see the gas giant again in its usual face and with a small companion. To the left of the giant, the moon Europa can be seen in this image in a unique size ratio to Jupiter. Although Hubble did not directly discover life on Europa, the telescope's observations have helped scientists to find numerous indications of liquid water beneath Europa's thick layers of ice. Thanks to these findings, NASA is currently preparing missions to the Moon, which will be equipped with drills to penetrate the depths of the icy Moon. Hubble's images proved ice volcanism on Europa and, together with the Juno space probe, they completed our picture of a Moon that is currently considered the hottest candidate in the entire solar system when it comes to finding life. A huge blue bubble. It is almost unbelievable what Hubble has shown us in 33 years of service. It was clear that this telescope would eclipse everything that had gone before, but scientists in the 1990s had not expected this. Hubble showed us luminous galaxies, distant colorful nebulae, star-forming regions, and fascinating phenomena such as the Great Bubble Nebula. Also known as NGC 7635, this blue cosmic wonder shines about 8,000 light years away from us in space. The image was taken at a time when Hubble was already a thing of the past. On the telescope's 26th birthday, Hubble had long since exceeded its original service life, and once again, the telescope proved that it is a gift to mankind and a messenger of the breathtaking beauty of the universe. Ariel's and Uranus's Game in the past, the Hubble Space Telescope has made numerous observations of Uranus and its moons, but the transit of Ariel, one of Uranus's five large moons, has particularly captivated scientists. This type of event, in which a moon passes in front of its planet, provides a unique opportunity to study both the moon and the planet's atmosphere in more detail. During such a transit, astronomers can observe tiny changes in the light curve of the planet and the moon thanks to telescopes such as Hubble, and this allows conclusions to be drawn about the Moon's atmosphere and possible weather phenomenon on the planet itself. From the observations, the scientists draw many other valuable insights into the physical and chemical properties of the moons and planets. The Relativity of the Rings? For Albert Einstein, the Grand Master of Astrophysics, this image would have been a real feast. The rings of relativity refer to a fascinating phenomenon that is closely linked to Einstein's principles of general relativity. This phenomenon occurs when light from a background object, such as a distant galaxy or quasar, is bent by the gravity of an intervening massive object, such as another galaxy or a cluster of galaxies. This curvature of the light causes the image of the background object to be distorted and often displayed in the form of rings or arcs around the foreground object. These rings of relativity 
are an excellent example of gravitational lensing and thus a phenomenon first predicted by Einstein in his theory of general relativity. Unfortunately, Einstein himself never saw his gravitational lenses in the universe. However, the rings of relativity in the cosmos are also called Einstein rings in his honor. Researchers were able to use this image to draw further important conclusions about the expansion of the universe and the distribution of dark matter, among other things. The rings of relativity are therefore another impressive example of how Hubble's images are not only stunningly beautiful, but also full of exciting scientific facts. Each of these images tells a story and completes our puzzle of the universe. Hubble celebrates its birthday. How do you celebrate your birthday as an icon of astronomy? Well, with another brilliant hit. Hubble never gets tired and the telescope proved this on its 25th birthday by delivering this image. Westerlund 2 is a magnificent, massive star cluster located in the constellation Carina at a distance of about 20,000 light years. It's part of the larger molecular cloud known as GUM-29, which can be seen in the foreground. Westerlund 2 was discovered back in the 1960s by Swedish astronomer Bent Westerlund, but we have only been able to see it so beautifully and in such sharp focus since Hubble turned his experienced eyes on it. The age of the star cluster is estimated to be only 1 to 2 million years, making Westerlund 2 one of the youngest known star clusters in our galaxy. We see some of the brightest and most massive stars in the known universe to date in this anniversary image, including giant blue stars and wolf riot stars that are at an exceptionally advanced stage of stellar evolution. Become a subscriber now. The best videos are yet to come.